and they are one of the many groups involved with the Illuminati and they would they would contact me and tell me give me directions that I was to psychically kill this person or psychically injure this person or scare this person they'd give me the location and I started questioning this and I had a contact who since has um, seemed to have disappeared because she couldn't get the funding and she I had called her about this group and and she's the one that that uh, was the ex CIA ex army intelligence person and she knew about these people and she said yes you're right this is this is what is going on your experience um, uh, being brought up in this uh, Illuminati um, environment um, were you ever told anything about where these reptilians came from and, and, and what is the history of it all uh, I was made to learn through Mothers of Darkness which is a certain aspect of the organization because that was an early early part of my training uh, the history of what was the Illuminati on, on this planet and what I learned was that the Aryans originally were from Mars and they came they were the the reptilians came to that planet to uh, they came from another place they came to that planet they came to rule because they and and they wanted to mix so they said with that race and um, but they became the overlords and the Martians or Aryans were seeking to escape from it they went to the moon and then were there attacked and they then went to earth and established culture here on earth approximately six thousand years ago and at that point in time they were all they were doing well and they were mixing with indigenous the indigenous population of this earth they were getting along with and then about four thousand years ago the Aryan or the uh, reptilians arrived here and again began to take over uh, and they in they instilled themselves in different places uh, underground in in the uh, earth and also this one part of them the ruling part took over and became involved in the politics and in the religion um, and started controlling through these means at that point in time and using the gods and deities that were believed in on this planet uh, started in infiltrating into that and becoming that and things started blood rituals started happening and uh, since that time that is the way that it has been and presently they claim to come from the Merovingian bloodline they and they are all of the there are 13 bloodlines in Europe that all, all of what are called royalty are developed from or come from and they include the Aryans in this and there's been a big push in this century um, if for example uh, when the, when Nazis came into power the fascists uh, talking about the purity of being pure and staying in the Aryan bloodline staying pure and what it actually is all about is keeping the blue-eyed uh, blonde or light red-haired people uh, the bloodlines pure because it is more powerful and what what is in that blood for these reptilians is more powerful and they need that and when you start mixing it with people that were indigenous to this earth then it is not as powerful it has nothing to do with 
with someone the uh, skin color or nationality it has to do with the keeping the bloodline pure for their use so uh, blonde haired uh, blue eyed people are, are the, the purest from from the reptilians point of view um, and that, that they want to keep that bloodline pure because of how they need to use it yes uh, when I myself when I realized that it had to do with blonde hair and blue eyes. I could not do anything about my eyes, and I am not able to wear contacts, or I would have brown eyes. But what I, one thing I did do was cut my hair off because that was part of the the rank I was. My hair was down to my knees, and I colored my hair darker. And um, there were times um, when, after I did cut it off, they had gotten to me. And so the hair would be light red, but that is being in compliance with them. And um, I did not want to be in compliance to them. Um, I want to expose them, and I this is part of it. Uh, and I won't be what they want me to be. When you, you look at... Um some of the ancient uh, accounts like the Sumerian texts and, and many other accounts they talk about um, the gods interbreeding with humanity um, is this relevant to the reptilian uh, um, way of infiltrating the human race yes it is because human beings all through the ages have accepted gods interbreeding um, or being accepted as humans and that shows in Christianity, it shows in Judaism. It also, they have used um, Egyptology or the Egyptian religions a lot and the, the present head of the Illuminati um, compares himself a lot with uh, the Egyptian god Osiris and Horus, which is Osiris reborn and also uh, with the uh, Arthurian legends of the round table and he takes, he has a name, the, the name that he carries from that is Pindar which actually means phallus of the dragon and the other name Osiris uh, he has carried because he takes the name at this time the Marquis de libero which means the liberator of or from the waters and the story of Osiris is that he was cut into 14 pieces and thrown into the river Nile and the one piece they, Isis found the pieces and um, put them back together again and she could not find the 15th piece which happened to be the phallus so a gold phallus was made and this is very important in in uh, this this whatever this group in the Illuminati. This is important, and it's important to, to think that about the head of the Illuminati because what comes from a golden phallus uh, would be a superior seed for a race, and and this is how this this is what what they are doing with all of these bloodlines to keep the bloodlines going are impregnating um, Aryan people of Aryan blood that hold high stations with them impregnating them with with this seed of Pendar and therefore it, it's important to keep this history in mind and the names in mind that he is going by at this time so would it be correct to say that the, the reptilians came to this planet because the Aryan Martians came to this planet and had the Aryan Martians gone somewhere else they'd have followed them there they would have pursued them all over the universe yes can we now go into some specifics about your own experiences um, what were you brought up to do you say that um, you know you were identified as a bloodline before you were born, um, what what was the the role that you were brought through to play? The role that I was brought through to play was um, 
as in 